hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel now thanks to cam who always posts these financial reports at the end of each financial quarter we can take a look at how model concept champions has been doing financially and the results are in and well in short they are doing about as well as i am just about like that right so uh, let's take a look so we have quarter three earnings report now so basically this includes um uh, months seven eight nine in the year so july august and september that also includes the july fourth sales and obviously a lot of the financial spending here has been pushed by the release of quite a lot of new content including summer of pain and uh champions like hercules now looking at it however even though they are up from quarter two which is from quarter three and quarter two they have a slight improvement in both which are both pretty much historic lows so they are increasing their earnings but that has always pretty much been the trend when we do end up spending more in the second half of the year with the july 4th sales with cyber weekend sales and alike unfortunately even though model Concert champions has increased the total amount of money they have managed to make in previous three months compared to three months before that we can still see that if we compare the highlighted quarters so this is quarters per each year so this is quarter three 2021 this is quarter three 2020 quarter three 2019 and then we have quarter three 2018 and we can see that this is still the lowest earning quarter three since 2018 considering how much game has grown since then again i don't think it is a positive outlook here you can approach this entire thing from two different perspectives perspective number one is that optimistic one that you know despite having all the input issues despite the game bleeding players and there having to be issues and bugs with pretty much every single content released there are still people spending and they spent more than they did in the three months before that and at the beginning of the year or you can look at it from the fact that despite kabam releasing a shit ton of content a lot of people explored despite them releasing the hottest champions of the year with uh, hercules and i believe kitty prides in there as well despite july 4th sales they have still failed to meet the financial achievements of the previous two years and undisputably i don't think anybody can claim the game is currently going on up and up and up in fact i do believe that this financial report is a very concrete evidence of a steady decline that is currently happening in model concept champions now again people like to hyperbole the things that i say and i always try to be as careful as i can with the words that i choose i am not saying the game is dying or that the game will die everybody always likes to say things like that no on the contrary i do think that this game is big enough for it to keep losing players for another three four five six seven eight months and there still to be a lot of players left because with mcu releases you know some players are coming back with some more interesting events or something else some promotional materials a lot of people who retire or put down the game do end up coming back at some point or another and a lot of new players also pick up this game every time they see marvel and they get excited about being able to fight with these champions they do download this game basically just like all of us did you know we watched a marvel movie or something to do with marvel we saw this game in app store and it's like hey that looks cool i'll check it out at the same time it is worth noting that 
Marvel movies aren't really currently doing all that well either. But they're still doing a hell lot of a better than MCOC is. Right. I think this just reaffirms what we talked about last time when the financial report came in. Yes, the quarter one was absolutely devastating. Quarter one was like lowest earnings ever from any quarter since like 2017. So quarters two and three are better. And nowhere near good enough, especially comparing with the recent past of the game. Especially expecting some sort of growth of the game as you know the game goes on longer, has more content in it. And I think that is where currently Marvel Tons of Champions are struggling. They're failing to retain their play retain their players with all the bugs, with all the game issues. I think plenty of new people are still picking up this game uh, every week, every month. But I think a lot of them leave, especially once they kind of get moderately serious. They leave because of the bugs. They leave because of Kabam, because of the design and because of the management choices they are making. Obviously, without a doubt, when Kabam manages to address the input issues, I do expect a group of players to return and the game to do better overall. But that will not make sure that this game has any meaningful growth alone. We are desperate for new game modes. We are desperate for new interaction and new things. And I think one of the side effects as well of this longevity push that MCOC has been doing, for instance, has been reduction of power level increase in six star champions. Anybody remembers how exciting it was to see rank five five stars for the first time? It's because they were significantly stronger than rank four five stars. They were like 30, 40% stronger. And now seeing rank six four stars, it's just not exciting anymore. Why? Because they're only 10, 14% stronger. I can understand why Kabam doesn't, and they do it to keep five star champions as relevant as possible for as long as possible to delay the release of seven star champions. Yada, yada. I, I can definitely see the upsides of that. But the downside is making the game more dull. It's just less things to be excited for. We are meant to chase these rarest resources and spend a ton of money on them. And then they don't deliver the same amount of excitement because the numbers are pretty much identical to those of rank three six stars. Nobody needs a rank four six star in this game for any reason at all whatsoever, aside from prestige or like alliance or defense. That's just about it. Rank four six star does not, well, it's hardly any meaningful increase in those stats definitely does not justify the cost of acquiring the resource that those champions are. And it's just one of those things where, in my personal opinion, despite Kabam adding new content and, you know, everything kind of keeping on progressing, the game feels more dull than it used to two or three years ago. So, unfortunately, combination of that with the persistent bugs and issues and oversights and releases with champions. How many champions come out with like, I don't know, infinite stun loops or being nerfed freshly after release. And then obviously just your casual bugs and I don't know, downtime and crashing and everything else. I don't think this game can sustain it for another year like that. We're looking at past nine months, I genuinely don't think if we have another nine months as bad as we did before, the game would be able to recover anymore. It, it would still exist because it's big enough to have some moderate following. But the more times you soil the experience, the less likely the players who have left will be returning. Like, Because there are people who quit and come back every, I don't know, year, right? 
But if you keep failing them, if you keep giving them reasons to leave, eventually they don't come back. And on top of that, there are more and more people leaving for the first time. There are people who have played this game for six years straight and are leaving now. I know it's much easier said than done. But I do personally believe Kabam has very little room for error right now. I think every issue right now with the game is hyper escalated, as in like minor things can lead to major consequences now because there are a lot of people who are already extremely wound up, who are full, and they just need that little bit to push them over the edge, drop the game off, to completely rage away from MCOC. So, whichever one of these scenarios you want to look at, whether the financial report is a good thing that we still have a somewhat of an increase from quarter two, or it is a bad thing, because this is for a fact lowest quarter three earnings since 2018. I don't think anybody can dispute the fact that MCOC is not healthy right now in more ways than one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the